In an effort to protect the quality of life in Wake County, the Water Quality Division seeks to ensure that all of the water resources in the county are healthy and sustainable and the surface waters are not contaminated. In an effort to support this comprehensive approach, the county recently hired its first hydrogeologist, Dr. Caroline Loop. Dr. Loop joins us on WakeGov TV for the first time. Welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. First of all, besides the fact that I had to practice saying hydrogeologist uh, several times over and over again so I wouldn't stumble, a lot of folks want to know what is a hydrogeologist? A hydrogeologist is someone who's knowledgeable about the flow of water beneath the land surface. So for example, when it rains, a portion of that water moves down below the land surface and is not taken up by plants. It so it moves through the soil and then down into the cracks and pores of bedrock. And why is it important to have a hydrogeologist or yourself become a part of the staff here in Wake County? Well, Wake County has over 30,000 residential water supply wells and um, at over 3,000 residential wells have been permitted in the last decade. So it's those wells that draw from the cracks and the pores in the bedrock and that's how people obtain their water. And when we talk about the common issues that the county must continue to monitor, what, what are some of those? They're known contaminated sites in the county, and it's important to us to know where those are and the status and the types of contaminants in, that, in those sites um, and where they are in terms of soil contamination or groundwater contamination. So that's something that we monitor and try to keep track of. Another thing that we look at is rainfall and, and water levels as early indications of drought. So it's a quality issue as well as a quantity issue for groundwater in and, Wake County. And is that something that you plan on monitoring? How, how do you monitor that? Um, well, we, we've been meeting with, uh, with Diener to get their databases and, and integrate their data in a way that um, when someone applies for a well permit, we can check the, the system and see if there's a known contamination site around them. Well, what can citizens who own wells do to help preserve the quality of the groundwater? That's a great question. Um, it's important to keep any hazardous chemicals away from your well, such as um, pesticides or fertilizers or paint or motor oil, to, to physically remove them from the well so it doesn't become contaminated. Also, uh, people can visually inspect their wells and um, and just like any other system in your house, like a heating or air conditioning system, uh, you might, it's recommended to uh, have someone inspect your well system and your water system in your house periodically. Health and Human Services uh, recommends that private well water owners sample their wells each year for bacteria, every two years for VOCs and metals in every five years for pesticides and herbicides. So it's really something if you're a private well owner, there's, there's standards of care and maintenance that, that you should be aware of. Okay, and what are some of the initiatives you and, and your, your staff uh, hope to address in, in the coming months? As, as we mentioned, we're tracking the contamination and uh, getting more of that information and we plan to have investigations around some of those sites where there are private wells and help inform people who use those wells uh, about the care and proper maintenance of their wells to ensure that they have healthy drinking water. I'm sure we'll be hearing more about that in the coming months. I hope so. Thank All right. you. Dr. Luke, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I appreciate it.